I started recording before <laughs> I realized it. Uh, normally a light kind of goes on and I can see the, uh, the flash of the light and it tells me that it starts recording. But uh, this time that didn't happen so well <laughs> uh, I'm getting ready to go out. I'm in my bedroom and I'm gonna go food shopping so this will be the uh, first part of the BTS vlog for uh, November 29th. Uh, happy Thanksgiving for those of you who had Thanksgiving <laughs> yesterday on the 28th. Uh, and so I'm going to go shopping, food shopping primarily. And I'm going to try vlogging as I go. But it is uh, below zero outside. That means it's probably too cold for the camera. Uh, but we'll see what happens. You know, it's you don't know what's going to happen until, it, until you try it. So... Uh, that's kind of the way things go, and I'm going to bring my camera with me, and I'll vlog on the way. It does take me a while to get ready. Anyways, see you in a bit. Time to vlog. Hey, right. I'm on the road, and I'm all dressed up uh, for the winter. There's snow on the ground, as you can see. Yeah. This is, after all, a nighttime vlog. This is it. This is me, and I'm vlogging by the light of the street lamp. <laughs> so it's actually doing pretty good. And uh, I'm actually a lot warmer considering the temperature outside than normal, so uh, uh, yay for that. It's now remains to see how what happens for the rest of the night. Uh, I'm probably just gonna go to the food store and check out one place so I can get a gift for my dad. I kind of figured out what I'm going to get him for Christmas. And uh, the rest remains to be seen what happens with the, with the walk. So, smaller places, I'm not going to do as much shopping as I usually do. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll see you when I get to TNT. I got uh, part of my Christmas shopping done. And I'm done at TNT, so. I'm heading on back to my place and then gonna unpack there. So, good little trip. Uh, this is uh, sort of a little bit of a practice, of sort of vlog up public where other people can see you talking to a camera. Anyways, that's it for now. See you back at the office. Whenever this camera light goes off and it's time to vlog, I forget everything I wanna say. So all this results in the uh, <sighs> the need to do things again or uh, come back for an addition to further explain. There's options. There's a <sighs> when you're walking like this and vlogging at night. When you can vlog often depends on what type of light is available. Some areas where there's street lights, there's dark and it's too dark to, to film. Other years it's not so bad and you can actually uh, vlog like this. So this area is not that bad. I checked it out ahead of time by pointing the camera forward. It seemed to be okay, so I'm vlogging like this now. But the question will be what it ends up being like uh, when I get back to the office. We are now coming up to a dark pot patch and this will end this segment. If I have anything more to say, I will turn the camera back on at another light patch and vlog again. <laughs> and it's, uh, well, it's just about uh, 2 o'clock in the morning, 2.30 in the morning on Sunday, December 31st, uh, December 1st, uh, 2013. And obviously I'm not in my office. I know I've just gotten back in from shopping. What happens when I went shopping at, uh, yesterday? I got back in, had something to eat, uh, and by the time I unpacked and was done, I was uh, uh, tired enough that I just ended up going to bed. Uh, so right now I'm at my parents' house, everybody's still asleep, and so I'm doing this vlog now. 
Uh, it's been an interesting day. I went and ended up going by um, uh, Nerzarel in one of my times when it was up. Mm. You know, like, uh, I also went by um, uh, Morgan Page Love. She had a video up, so I went by those two diff two different places, and then uh, of course, Kitty's Mama. I went by there as well. So you can sort of see how I've been doing on my YouTube stroll uh, with the YouTube uh, stroll lists. And uh, basically, uh, I'm gonna be trying to add some more stuff to my mobile office. I'm at my, I'm actually in my mobile office now. This is here. There's the bag. Uh, here's everything here. So I'm in my mobile office now. And the next goal is to sort of, what I'm doing now is sort of fixing things up, getting standard work done. I did a bit of the YouTube stroll here now. Um, but I'm going to be going to bed in a few minutes uh, so I can get up at 7 o'clock in the morning and uh, start the day all over again. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, this is the weekend vlog. Oh, that's the other thing I did. Um, I recorded uh, an Insta vlog. So there should be an incident vlog coming up on Sunday or Monday, actually probably Monday, more likely not because Sunday I'm going to be out all day. I have a lecture to record uh, tomorrow night, so I'm going to a lecture to tape it, record it, and then uh, kind of go from there. Anyways, uh, that's it for now. I'll talk to you guys later. Good night. Here we go again. It's just about 8 o'clock in the morning, and um, here we go. Countdown, countdown timer started. Is it? I'm just about 8.30 in the morning on December 3rd, and I'm just now ending the weekend. That's right, I've been up all night studying, all night working. Uh, it seems to me that I'm back my all-nighters again, the uh, all-night study sessions. That's what happens over the weekend, is that uh, uh, basically uh, Saturday and Sunday uh, kind of get fused into one day, the way things end up going, that... Uh, there really isn't much sleep on Sunday, Mon uh, Sunday, uh, Saturday, and Sunday, and I end up trying to have to have sort of, I end up having to catch up on uh, on Monday, to some degree, and that kind of kicks things uh, back to being late again. So, if oh sorry, if I end up uh, going to bed late. Uh, Sunday evening after having slept, not slept all weekend. So I went to bed Sunday night. Uh, I was thinking of vlogging, but I was too tired at, at nine o'clock at night. It was at nine o'clock at night. By that time, I hadn't slept in, in more than 24 hours uh, between Saturday and Sunday. There was, I had gone over that 24 hour period again. And that meant uh, basically nine o'clock, that was it. And Basically, I stayed sleeping from uh, 9 o'clock in the evening to just about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, got up, sort of moseyed around a little bit. Uh, looked at my schedule. And then uh, tried. To, then went out to dinner with my parents because my parents are going away for a vacation for a week. And it was a, it was, it was a pretty good time. We went out to, uh, to these... Uh, See, there's a lot of Asian restaurants in my neighborhood, so we went we went into uh, one of these Asian restaurants. It was very good. I really enjoyed myself there in terms of the amount of food that they, that they have there. I'm also happy with myself because that means because uh, I looked at the food I was that they were making and the food that I make at my kitchen diner here uh, because I am in an Asian neighborhood and I've learned how to cook most of the Asian dishes in addition to the dishes from my Greek and Syrian background. So I've got a full kitchen back there, and I could cook most of the stuff uh, to the uh, restaurant quality that we were at, that to that quality. So uh, I was sort of pretty p pleased with myself to see that uh, uh, the cooking, my cooking skills, uh, are at that point. Uh, but in the weekend, uh, if some of you may have noticed, if you've been watching my YouTube stroll. And other such things is that uh, I'm getting my uh, cyborg alpha mu to be mu the cyborg Al alpha mu. That's the portable cy sorry, but cyborg alpha. That's the three androids. Uh, it's becoming more and more functional. So uh, I'm actually very pleased with that. The, what's going on and uh, what's going to end up happening 
uh, either next week or the week after is I'll be adding back in my Greek studies. Uh, they sort of fallen off for a little bit because I had problems with some of the Greek that I was studying. Uh, it was a little complex. I needed to fill in some of the holes there. And I was able to sort of do that. Now it's sort of I need to, need to do, sort of get things back to, to into, into schedule again uh, in terms of my uh, uh, when I'm actually studying the Greek. So it, it, it turns out that even even though that I've had that sleep deprived period, uh, my efficiency models in terms of uh, how I deal with downtime uh, seem to work out in such a way that I'm pretty much still ahead of where I was prior to the crash. In other words, uh, even though I crash, even though there is that sort of period of time where I'm down, the the effect on the work does not seem to be negative. And so it's an overall positive that uh, I end up coming out with, which is a good thing. That's that means that uh, even though uh, you know I have these down periods, even though I have these sort of uh, setbacks, physically uh, speaking, that uh, I still can move forward and end up ahead of where I was prior to the prior to the crack, prior to the uh, physical impediment that I've had during that period. Uh, and it's basically at that period, and this is uh, sort of looking at these different uh, videos on YouTube. I'm doing my YouTube show. A lot of uh, videos on happiness and. Um, um, how to get things done, how to be more positive, and it's the bizarre thing, and this is going back to the whole thing about uh, happiness and uh, thinking positive. You're at your most negative, and this, this is for, I'm talking about a, a person like myself, uh, where I'm always pushing the, ed the edges of my boundaries, I'm always pushing forward to areas that I don't know, so I'm not, I'm, I'm almost never in my comfort zone. But every now and again, and it's basically after I've actually had some success, and I'm sitting back, <coughs> and I'm starting to assess what has occurred in terms of what I've achieved and where I need to go next, that's when it starts to dawn on me the, the, the enormity of what I'm trying to do, the, the, the actual total size of it. And... It becomes, in some cases, unnerving. You come up with a question in terms of your mind. Why am I doing what I'm doing? Sometimes, important times, you know, say, you wonder how you survived to this particular point. And just that fear alone, that sort of that quick fear that rolls over you, uh, kind of makes you want to freeze and say, you know what, I'm almost at the point where I'm ready to give up, and that's about it. But what happens, as long as you get some good sleep after that, <laughs> that's the point where you're just kind of tired. If you get, as long as you get some good sleep, usually in a couple of days or so, you're back to yourself where <coughs> whatever negative thoughts you had before now are kind, kind of uh, starting to leave and you have a better uh, prospect in moving forward. Uh, that being said, this is going to end the uh, BTS vlogs for the uh, period of November 29th to December uh, 3rd. And that means we are into Vlogmas. That's uh, so what's going to happen now in December. From December to January 20th is going to be Vlogmas. And I will explain in the next segment, which is the next, which is the opening segment, the opening segment for the vlog for December twenty December third, uh, that vlog. There, the, the next one is where I'll explain what vlogmas is and why I'm doing it for as long as I'm doing it because I'm doing it longer than the average person is. Anyways, that's about it. I will talk to you sometime. Uh, huh, yeah, a couple hours.
I am the professor. And professor of what? Professor of physics. Oh, say, can you see? Speech rules here at Democratic Earth.